What's going on guys, Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video, and I'm uploading two videos today, I originally was planning on uploading just this video, but then when I saw the balance change information, I decided to work on both videos here today. So the original video that I was going to focus on today is we're bringing back Showdown. It's been about a month, month and a half or so since I've done one of these, I haven't done a Showdown for a while, for a variety of different reasons, it didn't seem to be very well uh, valued by the community. You guys didn't seem to be super excited and pumped about them, but I really wanted to focus on a couple cards comparisons and try to revamp the showdown breakdown system and see if it can maybe catch hold with you guys here going forward. So the first showdown that we're going to do in this new revamp system is talking about Marine Craig versus Ink and Craig. As Ink and Craig was recently released to the game about two weeks before I posted this video, he's not wide stream within the game right now. He's going to be very difficult for you guys to still obtain because he's not wide release yet. He will be here in the near future, probably within maybe a month or so after I upload this video. So when more Ink and Craig is more available to you guys and able to be obtained, I think that some things of these, I don't think necessarily a lot of the stats will change, but I think at least uh, you, you can at least hopefully obtain him and be able to try him out for yourselves and see if he's going to be viable for you long term within this game. But I still think that this showdown has some viability. Revamp the system a little bit and I will explain the new revampness to it as we go along here in this video. But as always, if there's any specific showdowns you guys want to see here on the channel, please let me know down in the comment section and I will try to work on those if I think they're worth working on. So the new thing that we're going to do here on these showdowns here going forward on the channel is that we're going to try to focus on, on the level caps that we're going to talk about so one of the things that we talked about in the previous showdowns if you haven't seen any of these showdowns feel free to check them out here on the channel but we talked about at max level six what their stats were going to be at 70 of 70 we're no longer going to focus on that here going forward we're going to look at actual realistic stats from cards based on legendary players so most legendary players or legendary viable card levels for each respective rarity. So in commons, most people are going to be having level 5 max commons or level 6 commons. So that's what commons are going to look like here on these showdowns going forward. Is it max level 5 compared to max level 6? For rares, most people will hopefully have them at max level 4, possibly max level 5. That will be the focus of rare cards on the channel going forward. For epic cards, most people hopefully have max level 3 and then would hopefully be able to obtain max level 4 realistically within the near future. So that's what we're going to focus on for epic cards. And then with legendary cards, we're going to look at max level 2 to max level 3. As most people, yes, there are people that have level 4 legendaries in Legendary Arena, but there are very minimal amount of players realistically that have that. Most you'll see is 2s and 3s within Legendary Arena, so that's why I chose the card levels for the showdown videos. If you think that this is a good leveling system, let me know down in the comments section. If you disagree with it, also let me know down in the comments section, but that is the focus that I think is the most realistic at giving you the most realistic stats of what you will see with these cards in PvP. Now granted, again, these are going to focus on the max level of each of those levels that I discussed, because that, I think, will give you a better understanding of the pros and cons of leveling the card beyond that level to see what it would be at the max next level. So the first card we're going to look at and focus on is Marine Craig. So I have separated the max level stats of the main stats that need to be known of the max level in both in two different colors. So max level 5 for Marine Craig is in blue, max level 6 is in orange. So his type and theme is a ranged sci-fi card, his rarity is common, his max health at max level 5 is 264, and his max health at max level 6 is 335 with a plus 71 difference in health between max level 5 and max level 6. That's also something I figured you guys would want to know the math of in case you felt that that was necessary. I felt it was necessary to at least display that so you could kind of gauge the difference of if I want to max it all the way to 6, what, what would I get as a reward for that? For max damage, his max damage at level 5, max level 5 is 53, and at max level 6 is 67. So that's a 14 difference in overall damage to a plus 71 difference in health. So not a dramatic change in both categories, but still, you know, up for debate whether or not either of those are significant in difference. His attack speed is a 1.8, which is actually one of the fastest attack speeds for a sci-fi card. 
And that seems that was actually slightly surprising to me that Marine Craig's attack speed was so high, in my opinion. His range is a three, which means he will take zap, zap damage from the enemy new kid. So I believe new kid zap damage is either a 3.75 or four. I'm not 100% on that. If you guys do know, let me know down below. But I know at three, he will still definitely take new kid damage. His movement speed is 0.675, which is pretty standard for almost all ranged units. He does single target damage. He's on the ground. His special ability, so his special ability is a war cry. Both of these Craigs have war cry abilities, but his war cry poisons the enemy leader and all close by enemies. I don't know what the aura of closeness needs to be as far as tile range to actually hit with the poison damage. It seems to be, it, it will stay in the same aura range. The aura does not expand as you level him up, but the amount of damage does. So at max level 5, 20 poison damage every five, for five total seconds for a total damage of 100 poison damage to any and all enemies in the aura around the enemy new kid and for, towards the enemy new kid. At max level six, he will do 24 poison for five seconds at a max total damage of 120 for all surrounding enemies and or new kid himself for a total of just 20 more damage for his war cry ability. His energy cost is a four energy cost and currently he is in the meta, he is a mid tier in PvP. Now what the current meta tier means is usage of the card in the PV in the legendary arena meta. So currently he's mi mildly used from legendary players. That is why he's considered a mid-tier card. It does not necessarily mean that he's mid-tier as far as usefulness. It means just off played time. Now we're going to quickly look at Ink and Craig. Again, focusing on max level 2 for a legendary card and max level 3 for a legendary card and compare the two. He is also a ranged type card from the adventure theme. His rarity is legendary. His max health at max level 2 is 258 to 305 at max level 3 with a 47 change in health which is about half of what Marine Craig got at his level difference. And max deep damage output, 36 at max level 2 to 43 at max level 3 for only 7 more damage. So a about half the more damage and about half more health between level 2 and level 3 for a legendary card versus level 5, level 6 of a common card. That's kind of up for debate as far as whether or not that's a huge difference. Uh, to you guys, so let me know down below what you think. His attack speed is a 3.1, which is the exact same as someone like Mecha Timmy, if you guys are trying to gauge as far as attack speed. Um, his range is a 3, which is the exact same as Marine Craig. Again, will take exact damage from the enemy new kid. His movement speed is a 0.675, which again is identical to most range units in the game. He does single target damage, he is on the ground. He has a war cry as well. So his war cry shoots a laser beam towards the enemy leader, damaging all enemies in the way. So the first number is the damage done to the enemy new kid from the war cry ability. So at max level 2, that does 195 damage to 65 damage to all enemies hit by the beam heading towards the new kid. For his special ability at max level 3, it maxes at 245 war cry damage to the enemy new kid and 85 damage to the enemy units on from the beam going to the new kid now if you've not seen ink and craig gameplay or i do have a video of that here on the channel the war cry basically is a straight dotted line that goes directly to the new kid you can direct where you place ink and craig to fire the beam at you do need to time it correct because there is a mild delay on the beam itself but then again, so the damage that's going to be done to the units going from the beam will be the second number. And then the guaranteed war cry damage to the new kid is the first number. So 245 damage to a new kid on one war cry ability at level 5 energy cost isn't great, but is by no means terrible either, in my opinion. But you're going to get 50 more damage to the enemy new kid and 20 more damage to the enemy units from max level 2 to max level 3. His energy cost is a 5. For a range card is kind of high, and for le for a legendary rarity is kind of unfortunate. And he's currently considered a mid tier card within the PvP meta, and probably a lot of that is due to the fact that it not a lot of people seem to unlock him in that event that he was unlockable just a couple of weeks ago. I was able to luckily get him to level two, and I've almost got him to max level two, but there were a lot of people that didn't get him at all. In fact, uh, Hayes Demon, I believe, I did a video where he unlocked where he opened all of the packs. From the event packs for Ink and Craig and only got, I think, two Ink and Craigs out of all the packs that he opened. So, I mean, very rare to get him, unfortunately. But 
when he becomes more mainstream within the game here within a month or two possibly maybe more and more people will start playing him so now we're going to go ahead and quickly compare the two cards so we're going to compare them at the max level that we discussed so max level six marine craig these are his, these are based on his stats of who would win based on the different focuses that we do within these videos. And then this is max level three stats for Ink and Craig that we're focusing on here for him. So the type and theme, they're both range cards and themes really don't matter as far as wh where this goes. They're rarity, for the rarity, Marine Craig wins in this scenario because he is a significantly less rarity as a common rarity. He's going to be much easier to obtain, much less expensive to upgrade different things like that you can ask for donations from him from your team and a lot of people would probably give you marine craig because there's not a ton of people playing him or utilizing him so you could probably easily get quite a few marine craigs to use for you guys in this game for max health marine craig has more max health at max level six than ink and craig does at max level three for max damage Marine Craig wins again as far as base damage, not his Warcry damage, just base damage. Marine Craig does more damage than Ink and Craig does. Attack speed, range, movement speed, damage, and position are all draws. They're all the same for both these two cards. For the special ability, now this one is up for debate, but in my opinion, because Ink and Craig does m way more damage in Warcry to the enemy new kid and does more and does a little bit less damage than Marine Craig does as far as his poison tick two units on his way to the enemy new kid i still think in my opinion that the special ability of ink and craig is better than marine craig's this could be debated between you guys but in my opinion based on my gameplay of of the two cards i prefer ink and craig's special ability over marine craig's but let me know down below what you guys think i still think both have their viability for sure and both can be you if used correctly can benefit you in a lot of different ways but I think Ink and Craig's special ability again is better. For energy cost, Marine Craig wins this because there's one less energy cost, and that can be a big difference for you and sometimes in the in a battle. Not so much towards the end of a battle when you get the double energy boost, but at least in the early game, you may or may not see a lot of Ink and Craig play because of his five energy cost. That just seems it's really expensive at times to use a range for a range unit. For Marine Craig at four is more around the normal cost of a range unit so therefore it could be used much more often and in the current meta tier they're both considered mid-tier cards but in all reality the meta tier doesn't really matter in these breakdown videos so it, so again it doesn't matter what the point system for that so the clear-cut winner uh, when it's all said and done based on the stats is marine craig in this breakdown and showdown video so not really a huge surprise to me that marine craig is stronger than ink and craig i think it was the surprise in my opinion how much stronger he was in so many different areas uh, but again these winners can, are kind of just more or less based on the actual statistics that i focus on with these cards to then just try to gauge and showcase to you guys which cards i think are more viable for you to focus on leveling out of these two specific cards and what the benefits you'll get from leveling these cards at the realistic level that you could obtain them at an eventual point within this game again guys let me know down below if there's any other showdowns you guys want to see here on the channel going forward and if you agree or disagree with the way that i decided to choose the leveling for each of the different kind of rarities of the cards within the game if you're not following any of the social media sites all of my information is here on the side of me and as well down below in the description of this video Thank you guys so much for the continued support. We're almost at 2,000 subs as I'm posting this video. Hopefully we're able to hit that soon and then work our way well beyond way more subscribers here on the channel going forward. But until next time, guys, my name is Druzy.